the Lord said that he would give us pastors, all right? Come on. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And these pastors are supposed to be feeding you with knowledge and understanding, all right? But the pastors today, all right, are not feeding us with knowledge and understanding. These pastors are not teaching us the truth. The pastors in all of these churches, all right? All in the ghettos where we live. It's a church on every corner. Right. But these pastors are not teaching us God's commandments. Right. These pastors are not teaching us the laws of God. Right. These pastors are not giving us a good understanding, all right? So we've come out here to give you these things, Father. Or to give you these things as the Father prophesied by Jeremiah in this book. Come close, brother. Come close, come close. I'm Mom Sakaya. What's your name? Say so. Say so, all right? We looking for the scattered of Israel. That's what we out here for. The so-called blacks, Hispanic, Native Americans scattered across the whole earth. Right. All right, God calls you a special people. You're really not black. You're really not a Negro. What did you believe your nationality was growing up your whole life? What were you taught? African American. That don't even make sense. You understand? I'm gonna tell you why quickly. Because America comes from a white man named Amerigo Vespucci that discovered this land with Christopher Columbus. That's who they named this place after. And the same thing with Africa. Skippy is Africanus. That's who that uh, land is named after. Those are two white people. All right, so-called white people. Has nothing to do with you or me. You understand? Those are what the Bible calls our enemies. They enslaved us, they oppressed us. All right, we can't walk around with their names. That's a curse. You understand? That's a curse. All right, give me Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. This is what God says about us. All right, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, and verse 6. For thou art an holy people. God says that we are holy people. You understand? If something is holy. All right, does that mean that it's average or above average? If it's holy. If it's holy, it's above average. Listen to what this verse is going to say about you. Come on. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. The Lord chose one nation. Today we call them Negroes. Today we call them Latinos. Today we call them Hispanics. Right. God chose one nation. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. To be what? A special people. We gotta be a special people. We gotta be, I mean, we can't be like everybody else. Right. We can't do all the same things that everybody else do. We can't enjoy the same pleasures as everybody else. We gotta find what God says is pleasurable and do that. Right. That's what we have to do, come on. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God says that he called us to be above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, today are we above or below all people upon the face of the earth? What you think? You say we below. The Bible says that we would be below. At one point in time, we wasn't below. At one point in time, we was on top of everybody. You understand? But we fell. We fell. Why do you think we fell so far from the top to the point where now we live in all the ghettos regardless of what state you go to? In the worst neighborhoods, that's where you find my people and your people. That's where you find us. Why is that? Why do you think? Have you ever considered? Have you ever wondered how did we fall this low? What happened to us? All right, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Was that it on, Deut on, on 7 and 6? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to show you real quick. All right, the question that I just asked was, how was it that we fell from ruling above all nations, from being on top, you understand, from being kings on the earth, right. having all the nations in subject to us? We receiving the taxes, not paying taxes to the so-called white man. That's not what we're supposed to be working to do. Following his laws, now nah, God gave us perfect laws. Right. We're supposed to be teaching everybody how to how to be decent. We're supposed to be teaching everybody how to be in order. All right. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse fifteen. This is what happened. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse fifteen. I'm gonna answer your questions too. All you gotta do is listen. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse fifteen. I'm gonna answer how we fell from the top. All the way to the bottom. This is the answer right here. I'm talking about for the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans scattered across the whole earth. Jesus. Come on. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. God said, look, if you don't listen to me, this is what he told Moses. He said, tell this to all the Negroes. 
tell this to all the Hispanics. Guess what? This was before we was called Negroes. This was before we was called Hispanic. This was before all of that. This is when we were called Israel. You understand? This is when we were a prince of the powers with God. This is when we had might, mighty powers upon the earth. You understand? What happened? This is what happened right here. Read it again from the top. But it shall come to pass. If thou were not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. We didn't listen to the voice of God. God gave us commandments. We didn't listen, come on. To observe, to do all his commandments. We didn't follow all of God's commandments. All right, it's more than just 10 commandments. It's more than just two commandments. The commandments today still stand, come on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. They were given to us as commandments. All right, that means that it's not optional. Right. It, you don't have a choice. It's not if you feel like it, all right? That, no, it, it's, you must do it. Thou shalt means that you better do it. Come on. That all these curses. All these what? Curses. All these what? Curses. Say so, is a curse a good thing or is a curse a bad thing? It's a bad thing. So if we were on top at one point in time and we fell all the way to the bottom, what's your name? If we was on top at one point in time and we fell all the way to the bottom, would you call that a blessing or would you call that a curse? That's a curse. You understand? God said all these curses, including that one, would overtake you, me, say so, and all of our people to the point where now when you find us, all right, the only place you find our communities is in the ghetto. You understand? And then when we move to a better neighborhood, the people that already live there, what do you think they do? They call the police and what else? If they stay in the neighborhood, it's not for long, where do they go? They leave to get away from who? From us, you understand? That's a curse. We become this upon the earth. You understand why? Because we were not keeping God's commandments. Come on. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses will come upon us and overtake us. Look what God said about us. Give me Deuteronomy 28, give me verse 43. All right, I think that's what I want. Read you got? The stranger that is within thee. God said the stranger. You know who the stranger is to us? Somebody you don't know. Who's the stranger to us? Somebody you don't know. Mm, is that a stranger to you? Yeah, that's my brother though. That's, that's your, your brother though, you see what I'm saying? So this is talking about a different kind of stranger. You understand? This is not talking about my brother driving this red car that I, I just don't know because I ain't met him yet. This is a different type of stranger. All right, this stranger is who we would call today your so-called white man, right. your so-called Chinese man, you understand? Your so-called Egyptian man, your so-called Russian man, your so-called Grecian man, your so-called British man. You understand? This is the stranger that the Lord is prophesying about right now. What did the Bible say? Read it again from the top. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. You hear what the Bible just said? It said the stranger, I'm not talking about me and you, because I don't know your name, I never met you before. So yeah, you're a stranger to me, but this is not the same stranger we're reading about in this Bible. Right. This is a different stranger. This is a whole nother nation. Because we, and me and you, we oppress together. When, when I get stopped by the police, I don't feel safe. What about you? You feel safe when you get stopped by the police? You understand? Say it again. Hell no. Nah. You see what I'm saying? This is talking about another people. Right. Read it again from the top. Oh, excuse me. The stranger that is within thee shall all the other nations upon the earth outside of the so-called blacks and Hispanics, come up, shall get up above thee very high. Have gotten up above us very high. At one point we ruled the world. Before Christopher Columbus and Amerigo Vespucci came over here, who was here? Who was here? The so say that again? Who was us? The black people, you understand? Yes, the black people. Right. We was here. We was here. Those are our brothers. Guess what? The so-called Native Americans, they're Israelites too. Right. Those are our brothers. We was ruling this sea. We was ruling this earth well before the white man came to the Americas. We was ruling this earth at one point in time before we came to the Americas. Come on. And thou shalt come down very low. But what happened? A curse, kid came upon us, a curse. And what happened? Say so. We fell from the top to where? To the bottom. Why? Because God put what upon us? What did he put upon us? 
yeah, what, 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 what did he put upon us? What did God put upon us to cause us to fall down very low? He put a, what would you call, was it, what did he put a blessing upon us for us to fall down very low? He put a curse upon us and caused us to fall down very low. That's what's being described. This is just one of many curses that was put upon our people. Bring it out. What? Verse 44. He shall lend to thee. He shall what? He shall lend to thee. He shall lend to thee. Is that a curse? When you got to go to the bank to get a loan, do you go to your own people to get your loan or you got to go to your enemies? Which one? You gotta go to your enemy. What? You understand? Who are you, who's your enemy today? White, white. The, the so-called white people are your enemies. Right. Very good. How do you know that? According to the Bible. I'm gonna show you. Give me verse 48. Listen to what God says about what our enemies would do to us. This is how we know who our enemies are. All right? This is not a hate campaign. We're reading about what God says about all the nations that he created upon this earth. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Yeah. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. We shall serve who? Thy enemies. God said that the so-called blacks, Hispanic, Native Americans would serve their enemies. Come up. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Wait, who sent the enemies against us? The Lord. Who sent the enemies against us, say so? The Lord, the Lord sent the enemies. Right. So is it because of the white man? That's the reason we went into slavery, the so-called white man, or is it because of the Lord? Which was the Lord, you understand? That's the answer. All right, we ought not to be mad at the white man because he was just doing what God told him to do. Right. Why? Because of us, come on. Which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger. In what? In hunger. When you hungry, say so. My sister right here, when you hungry, where you gotta go to eat? You go to your own people to get food, or you gotta go to your enemies to eat? You got to go to your enemies for your groceries. You go to McDonald's, who own that? The white man. You go to Walmart, who own that? You go to Target, who own that? You go get you some Dasani, some Aquafema, some Fiji, a Red Bull, who own all of that? Do we own any of that stuff? So is the Bible a true book? The Bible is prophesying what we call today our reality. Right. But this was well before it was our reality. You understand? At this point in time, it hadn't happened yet. You understand? But time has passed, and now what was called a, a, a prophecy at one point has become our reality. Come on. And in thirst, and in nakedness. And in thirst, and in nakedness. When you are thirsty, when you hungry, where you go to get your food? Can you go to your own people? The reason I'm reading this scripture is because I want to show you that God said we would have to serve our enemies for everything that we need. All right. And that's what we're doing today. We're serving our enemies for everything that we need. All right. So the white man, yes, he is our enemy. The so-called white man, he is our enemy. You understand why? Because God said that he would be used to punish us as an enemy. You understand? So it's not his fault that he put us in slavery. It was God's will that he put us in slavery. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.